Hey guys, today I shall be showing you how to make a custom persona sprite for Sonic World Blast 2 Persona. This is a mod made by a guy called Lat, and today I shall be showing you. Yeah, he, I used to work with him a lot, and uh, yeah. So today I'll be showing you how to make your own persona for your own custom character for the mod. F first of all, you will need a, to have a computer for Blender. So what you want to do first is go to our, you know, page on Game Banana. Go to the Persona Model Compendium, which is my page on where you can have find the Model Compendium for the Persona sprites, as well as the Shadow sprites. But we will not be getting into that today. We will be only doing the Persona sprites for how to make a Persona sprites using Blender. So, you know, going in, you're going to be a bit this is everything you're ever going to need. You do not need to download everything as it will be a waste of space on your computer. Go to the cam setup and download that from the Mega. Add is as it is the file you need to have all the camera points. So it is very important that you go download that. Yay, yeah, during this purchase. So, you know, you go download that. The cam setup one. Okay, so there you go, it's downloaded. So you want to put that into your folder or anywhere. And then you want to drag and drop it into Blender and press open. And there you go, you would have the files that you need for, you know, making renders of Persona sprites. So what you do want to do now is, you know, here's your camera point of view. They are very useful. You know, these are the angles. And these are very important to making renders in the sprites for the Persona. So, Persona 5, I mean Persona 4 Golden, I didn't name the models or any of the folders because it was a school night, I believe, and, you know, I was very tired. So, here, here's the Persona 3 models that I've named every single one of. Persona 5 models are named and are also raw files to be compressed better to fit. So, let's go into it. I, you know, I, I'm very in the mood for a Persona 4 model right now. And I'll also be showing you how to find the correct model. So what I like to do is I'd like to go to the Persona Amorites uh, community or their Wikipedia Persona model list. And let's see, uh, let's find a model for us to get. Uh, I'm thinking, you know, your four levels of 34. Uh, I'm thinking, uh, let's, let's do Jiraiya. He, he's a very funny guy. PS zero C zero Jiraiya. So, this does not work. Keep that in mind. That you cannot just Control F and find it. Let's just find the file ourselves. And so, well, there it is. Oh. So let's put these all in the folder of the file. And now you go to, going back into Blender, go to imp File, Import, and then you want to go to your P0C0 out, which is the file name for Jiraiya. But as you can see, Jiraiya looks like complete shit. He looks very tangible and isn't very solid. So what you want to do here is you want to go to your for Jiraiya's armature, click it, and then go to Jiraiya's body part, the model properties tab, and then go to this, click back face culling, and click opaque. Now, you do not need to do this for every part of the body, you just need to do it for the part itself, and not the splits, as the splits are just, will automatically be changed the second the main part is changed. So now let's go and you know set everything to opaque. But there are also some things for the Jiraiya model that you shouldn't turn back face calling on, as there are other personas as well that have this effect where it's just it will be a solid wall and not look very good. So you know, just keep that in mind as you go through it through it. Blah, blah, blah. <coughs> I can't fucking speak. So you know, let's set everything else to opaque. Back face calling on. And there you go. Everything is now enabled. 
So, something you should want to also know is in the world properties, the shadow, the sprite itself is actually not very lit. So what you want to do is go to world properties and go to the color tab and, you know, increase the light a bit so that it looks good. Or if you're a blender expert like me, you could just, you know, you can make a light point of view, which I'll show you in a little bit. But, you know, having it like this is just for more so just to have more things be shown in the sprite itself instead of the sprite. So I'll be showing you right now how to make a light for your model. So you want to so you want to go to add light and you know put it there. You, you don't want to put the thing put the um, the world light as completely zero. You want to keep it at a fine pace just so that the model itself doesn't get too dark because the light itself doesn't really do much. But, you know, it gives it a nice little shadow, which makes gives it a more realistic looking thing, looking feel to it. So there you go. I increased the power of the sun that I have set up. You may also want to move it around a bit more to get the whole model to be lit up a bit more. And there you go. Your model now has a light. You know, you can go to camera one. You know, you can go through all the cameras, you can check it out. But, as you just saw, the model is, isn't is really facing the correct direction. So what you want to do is go to, click on the armature for the model. And then rotate it to 180 degrees. This is it only, this only mostly happens for Persona 3 and 4 models, as they're from a different engine, so you just need to flip them over. The reason you want to do this is for better organization for later. And so, as you may notice, the Persona is looking a bit smaller than really needed on the camera. So what you want to do is go to the camera, press on the camera, and then you want to go to the camera's camera pro object data properties and then you want to click on to the focal length and then increase that to a nice amount that you want it want it to but reminder not to really make it too big as there are animations for which get out of bounds of the camera so set it to a nice little number that you want it to and copy paste the number and set it to the other camera You may also notice that the camera is a bit higher than needed and the model isn't really in the middle of the camera. So what you want to do is go to the object properties of the camera and slightly put it down a bit more. Set it to whatever number you like until the model is in view and then copy paste that to all the other cameras. As you know, this will also make everything else look the same and give the model and the renders a consistent view. So, you know, you do that. You, know, you may also want to change the other camera's positions just a bit, just to make it a little bit better. And now for pixel lengths. Ah, uh, brother. You know, set it to the point to the model is in frame. And there you go. The model is now in frame and everything is nice. So, what I should be teaching you now in the in the output properties is the most important part of this process, where the X and or the the resolution is the most important part to this process, as it controls how big the fr actual frame will be, as if you make it too big, the frame will be high and it will be a monstrosity like.
in the output properties is the most important part of this process where the X and the, the resolution is the most important part to this process as it controls how big the fr actual frame will be as if you make it too big the frame will be high and will be a monstrosity like guts and be a huge file which isn't really what you want set it to something that can be at least controlled or something relative to the persona sprays already in game but do what you, do what you want make it as nice as you want now now that let me set it here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. set to a nice pound number All right, mm -hmm. and now we go to the frame rate, which is also very important as you want to make the model move at a frame rate like the games and have it be very choppy. So now with the camera, you want to go to the render view and start disabling camera render view 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 as these are the extra frames of rotations and for SRB2 and you don't really need them so now you want to go to your output settings put it to color depth to 16 and you want to go to the place where you have your file where you want to render your thing you know I'll, I'll name it the file renders So I'll also be showing you in this video, this is the part in the video where I'll show you how to render the, you know, idle sprites as well. As for the Persona 3 and 4 sprites, the file for the Persona 3 and 4 models, the idle state is baked into the model and so you're going to have to look for it. And uh, don't worry about compression as it's not very important. To the overall goal you know make sure that the transparent effect in the film is on and so here we begin to find the animation you're looking for since it is a persona 4 model we're going to begin to look for the frame itself let's let's let's, let's start with the idle state with the idle state it is at a frame. We're going to look for the idle frame. It's somewhere around here, somewhere. There you, oh, there you go. We found it. So two, two, seven. It's the beginning of the idle frame, the idle animation. So let's put the start frame to two, two, eight. Now let's look for the ending of the idle animation, and put it, put the end to that so that this portion will only be rendered in the video, in the renders. So there we go. And now we get to the most important part about rendering the rendering the, the files. So we go back to the top tab, go to render, render animation, and it will begin to process the render animations, the render frames for the sprite. So if you go to the, to the place where we set, it is generating files and you know here it is and now so let's go back at it now let's look for the magic attack this spinning animation will do pretty well so we do the same as we did before, find the beginning and the end, make a new folder, call to magic, and there you go, and we shall render this specific animation pattern. There you go, there is our Jiraiya state. So as you may notice, the, 
the numbers are pretty large at the bottom. The, the number at the end, before the P and G, is the front rotation number. So, as this is a rotation 1, so it is the front, and this is the other rotations. As you may notice, you know, rotation 6 is rotation 6, rotation 8, and so this is rotation 1 again. So, as you may notice, the other numbers, these are the frame data, and since we're at a high number already, so, you know, uh, the animation will be different at a higher number. So, this is 223, this is 2, and so, you know, you want to stick these with it. I have an entire folder for which help you to collect frames in the Mega. And, you know, you, you would wish to download these, stick them into the frame, and then put them there. And then, you know, get, get. sometimes it would be nice to skip sprites to, you know, make the animation seem a bit quicker. But yeah, that's it, it's done. So now, we do the same for magic. And that's it. So now, let's, I'll show you how to render a Persona 5 model. It's, it's even easier than before. So let's let's find Orpheus. Orpheus. Hmm, he's very hard to find in these files. Orpheus, here you go. So this is the file for Orpheus. As you can see, he's split into multiple FBX files. It is because for Sona 5, every file is separated. Every animation is separated into a different set. And so let's skip past the download. Let's place everything he has here, make a new renders folder. FBX, import his FBX. And let's import his idle FBX. So as you may see immediately, Orpheus is uh, a bit wrong. Let me just set the frames to be correct. There we go. Uh, so Orpheus here is a bit misplaced. He's a little, a little sleeping on the floor. So how you can fix this is you go back. You go back to the armature, and you set it to 180 degrees. So there you go. He's standing up again. The um, the sprite for, I mean the uh, the camera light is a bit. Uh, inside his body, so let's fix that as well. Or, if you're me, you could also just... Oh yeah, sometimes the models will also be already done. You don't need to... Is, uh... But there is set. Let's set, just change it to a spot. And let's, let's edit it around, there you go. I guess, I guess now, since I have some time, I shall explain to you what the other FBX are in the file. So, the other FBX, starting with Magic 1, is the FBX file for the beginning of the Magic animation. FBX 2 is a hold frame for the end of the Magic animation. FBX 3 is, the, like, the release frame, where, they, the, where the persona does, like, a, a release type of movement. And FBX 4 four is the state in which, you know, it, the repeat frames for the uh, releasing animation. And with that, you should be able to make your own renders with the Persona animations, with the Persona models that I have exported for you. You know, here's Orpheus here. And yeah, I wish you good luck guys in your own endeavors and making your own custom personas. Thank you guys for watching my videos, for watching for this long, and uh, good luck. Thank you guys for my seminar, and uh, goodbye.